Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to prove a reduction formula that is in chapter 7.1, number 53, in Steelwork textbook. If you look at my notes here, I have all eight reduction formula here. In this session, I'm going to show you how to prove the number eight. All right, so as you know, reduction formula, we need to use integration by parts. But before doing that, I have to transform this tangent into something else using secant squared. So I have to extract one of the, uh, two of the tangent, I would say tangent squared into secant squared minus one. So let's see how do we do this. So I know that I have tangent n x dx, and this is going to be equals to integral of tangent n minus two x times tangent square x dx. All right, so I extract two of the tangent out, so I, that I can actually transform that into secant squared. So this is equal to tangent n minus two x times secant squared x minus one dx. Now I want to distribute into the brackets. So let's do that. So I have integral of tangent n minus two x secant square x. Now I want to separate the integral at the same time minus integral of tangent n minus 2x dx. Now as you can see from what we need to prove on the right hand side, I already have some part of it. Right? So I just need to evaluate the integral on the left side to be able to prove my reduction formulas. Okay? So let me recopy this on the next page integral of tangent n x dx is equal to integral of tangent n minus 2x secant square x dx minus integral of tangent n minus 2x dx. Now I just need to work out this integral here, right? So let me do that here, integral of tangent n minus 2x secant square x dx. Now using this, I need to use integration by parts. So what is my u and what is my dv? I want to set my u to be tangent n minus 2x. So that my du is equal to n minus 2. There's a chain rule here because I need to work out the power first. So tangent n minus 3x times the derivative of tangent x, which is secant square x dx. And now what is my dv? dv is secant square x dx, and what is v? v is going to be tangent x plus c. Obviously, we don't need the plus c when we plug into the formula. Now that I have everything here, I will use my integration by parts formula, uv minus integral of v du, replacing, replacing the u to be tangent n minus 2x times tangent of x, subtract integral of v tangent x and du to be this, right? So I have tangent x times n minus 2 tangent n minus 3x times a secant square x dx. So I have something like this. Now, what should I do here? Okay, so I can group this term here into tangent n minus one x. And here at n minus two, I can take it out. And this becomes tangent x times tangent n minus three will become tangent n minus two x secant square x. Now this is basically transforming into something like this, right? So let me recopy that on the other side so you can see it more clearly. So my question is integral of tangent n minus 2x secant square x dx. And this is basically equals to what I had tangent n minus 1 x so I group this two becomes tangent n minus one x. Subtract n minus two, all right. Subtract n minus two, integral of 
tangent n minus 2x secant square. Okay, so I have tangent n minus 2x secant square x dx. And you know what? This is basically the same thing as my question here. So I can group them together because there's an equal sign. So I'll put this on to the other side. So this is one in front, right? So this is one of them and this is n minus two of them. Putting it together, it becomes n minus two plus one. So it will be n minus one. So if you group them on the same side, it will be n minus one because n minus two plus one is giving you n minus one, right? So I have n minus one integral of tangent n minus two x secant square x dx equals to tangent n minus one x. Now I want to divide by n minus one so that I can have my integral of tangent n minus two x secant square x dx to be equal to tangent n minus one x over n minus one. So this integral is basically equal to this. Now I can have this putting it back into the first formula that I found here. Okay, so I know that this is basically my tangent n minus one x over n minus one, which is what we want to prove. So from this, I can just go on and say that my integral of tangent n to the x dx, this is equals to tangent n minus one x over n minus one, subtract integral of tangent n minus two x dx. This is how we prove this reduction formula. Okay, at the beginning, just do a little recap. I separated into two integral and I already have the last part of the proofs. And I just need to evaluate the middle integral here. And then I'll be using integration by part doing so. I simplify. I use the little trick that I group the like terms. And then I figure out what's the integral of that, which is this part here. And then I just put this back into the or original integral that I separated. And then I get my final answer. Okay, so this is my final proofs. For more information about reduction formulas and integration by parts, please visit my website goforaplus.com.